hello and welcome back so right now we want to start working on our sign-in screen all right so if we go back to our design here we have this small design here so these are basically two triangles as you saw in the design all right so let's try to create those in Kivio real quick all right so this is done basically to show you how you can manipulate Kivio's canvas all right so this one is actually going to be quite interesting so we're just going to say oops if you want to work with the canvas always canvas dot and this time we will almost always use this before because after will basically means put whatever you want to put here on top of the widget so if you say after here the button won't be visible okay so we are going to say before meaning before anything else has been added so i'm we're just going to say a color all right since we want to draw with colors so what color do you want well we've imported this rgba so we can just go ahead to our test manager here and we can just grab this color okay so we just grab that so Control a and c to select everything all right so now let's go back to atom right here and we can simply say rgba that right there and simply say hashtag and then paste in that code right there and this will convert this to something like this which key we can use all right so now that we have a color let's go ahead and paint our canvas so we'll use a triangle okay it's a built-in object for kiwi so we'll simply say points sorry so points all right now we need to define our points as x y values okay so triangle where do you want your triangle to start well we want it to start at zero okay and then this is the x x the x axis and the y axis so for y we want it to start at self dot size and we want to get the second value so basically the y value of our boxes size okay so now if this was our box this would start at the corner there okay so that's where we want to start now we want to go to where our box starts okay so this will be sorry this will be this side so since we say it's zero on the x-axis so it's going to, if this was our box this point is right at the top there so now we want to go from the top to this side okay so how we're going to do that is we're going to simply say self dot size zero all right and this is the x value for the size and then self dot size one obviously okay now that we have this point and this point we now need that point okay so how we're going to get that point is it's at zero obviously at the start but if we say self dot size here it's going to drop it to at the bottom there so what we want to do is take our size all right so self dot size one okay and we want to subtract about 40 percent of that size okay so self dot size one sorry and we're going to say minus and i'm going to say 0.4 times that size so self dot size one okay so now that we have something like this so let's just control s and just to organize our code i'm actually just going to move this orientation to the top there all right so control s to save this and so that we can see how this looks let's go ahead and remove this button okay because it covers the whole box layout so control s to save now let's go back to our terminal which is right there and let's run this and hopefully everything works great all right so run that and there you have it our nice triangle okay so so far so good now we need the other triangle right great so now that we know how we're going to do this this should be fairly simple so all we have to do is basically just copy the whole thing all right so here i'm actually going to try something let me just copy the triangle 
okay we need the color so yeah let's just copy this so i'll simply control shift d to copy the whole thing all right so now that we have this what i want to do is simply reduce the opacity so instead of ff i am simply going to say something like maybe c8 all right then obviously we don't want this triangle to go this side we want to go that other side okay so instead of zero here we need to say self dot size zero for x all right control s to save control and go back to our terminal let's run this all right hopefully i got it right and there you have it the triangle is at this side now all right so looking good now the next thing we want to do obviously is uh where is it right here is to add this little icon right here thankfully this icon is available in our icons okay so let's go back to this and now in our box layout we have an orientation of vertical so that's a bonus so now we can simply say label to create a label and we're going to give this some text okay and so for the text i am simply going to say oopsie i'm simply going to say i'm going to add an icon in here all right and for this icon we are going to use a function called icon that comes with the icon fonts package and since we're using this function we need to import it okay so up here simply say import what do you want to import we want to import icon where do you want to import it from kiwi garden dot icon fonts and it's named icon okay so just like that we now have access to this function so for that icon i actually don't know what it uh, the name of that icon so i'll go to my assets and zmd dot font d okay so I'll just say control f here and i'll search for account okay because i believe it has something to do with accounts so as you can see we have quite the results i want zmd account account add account whatever i believe it's account add i'm not sure let me just go with account add for now all right so let's go ahead in here we now type in that name so zmdi dash account dash add all right so that's what we get all right and i'm actually going to give this a font size all right and for our size i actually want to make this really big so since we're going to be going mobile with this we actually want to use scale independent pixels so that it tries to match the size of the mobile itself so we're actually going to import some utility functions again up here so import and we're actually going to call this one mtx and we're going to import mtx from kv dot matrix all right so we're basically importing the matrix package as mtx okay so now down here we are going to say mtx dot sp meaning scale independent pixels all right so mtx dot sp and i'm simply going to say something like 34 or something all right and since we are using these icon fonts we need to enable markup so i'm just going to say markup is equal to true okay control s to save this control alt to go back oops to go to our terminal let's run this make sure everything works great and we can see it because <laughs> sorry because the label is actually white in color so i'll just say color and let's give it an rgba color of our color there okay control s to save let's run this one more time all right there we have it and it's the wrong icon but at least our icons are showing all right so this is where we are going to stop this for this one okay so if you have any questions regarding creating this then leave them in the question section otherwise as always i'm samuel and i'll see you guys in the next one when i find the right icon okay